Hello grade 2 students, welcome to a new lecture. In this lecture, we're going to learn about the body parts of a frog and uh, we're going to learn how frogs are different from all other animals. Ready? Uh, first, you're going to watch a short video about a frog and then I'm going to explain. Contrary to popular opinion, frogs aren't just selective eaters, feasting only on flies. Take the bullfrog, for example. They'll eat spiders, scorpions, rodents, snakes, fish, and just about anything else that passes in front of them. But how do they manage to be such eating machines? Bullfrogs don't have big claws, sharp beaks, or fangs. Yet they overcome pinchers, poisons, and spicy stingers. with a mouth as big as the great outdoors. Ready to swallow just about anything. They've been known to swim 20 feet to shore and hop an additional 15 to 20 feet, grab a meal, turn around and hop back into the pond. They've even been known to stalk birds like a lion on the prowl. Eating them wing, beak, and all. And they don't stop at their feathered friends. They'll even eat each other. A small bullfrog that doesn't watch its step can easily become food for a bigger frog. They are quite cannibalistic. A young bullfrog must quickly learn one simple froggy fact. Eat whatever it wants, just don't end up on someone else's menu. How do frogs differ from other animals? Let's see. First, where do frogs live? Frogs can be found anywhere. But where do frogs live? They live in water and on land, okay? Both. In water and on land. Where can frogs be found in winter? Because frogs prefer uh, warm places. So, in winter, they are found in the mud at the bottom of the pond, okay? In order to feel warm. Where does a frog lay its eggs? So now we know that frogs uh, lay eggs, okay? Where? In water. Where does a baby frog live? A baby frog uh, lives in water. Frogs start their lives as eggs laid in water. After a week or so, um, they hatch and swim around eating tiny animals and other plants. That's why uh, baby frogs live in water. Where does an adult frog live? As I just said, in water and on land. What helps a frog jump off your hand when you try to catch it? Do you think uh, the frog's slimy body? Yes, of course, because frogs have moist skin. So its moist skin helps the frog to jump off your hand when you try to catch it. Uh, I want to ask you one more question. Why do frogs have such big eyes? I'll tell you so they can see behind them and to the sides without having to turn their heads around. Do you know that uh, frogs have long and sticky tongues? 
Yes, frogs have frogs can capture insects using their long and sticky tongues. Uh, they eat insects such as uh, flies uh, or dragonflies. Like for example, larger frogs can even eat uh, grasshoppers. They can eat birds. They can eat uh, small snakes. They can eat baby turtles. They can even eat other smaller frogs. Now let's learn about the body parts of a frog. So now we all know that frogs live in water and on land. So they live near ponds, right? Okay, here we have their, the frog big eyes. They have uh, moist skin. This is the moist skin. They have moist skin covering their body. Of course, they don't have scales. Here we have their long tongue. Uh, a frog um, stretches out its long tongue and catches an insect for food. Here the back or hind legs. Um, they have four legs that help them hop. Here are the front legs and they have webbed feet that help them swim in water. Now let's look at uh, some differences between the fish and the frog. Uh, let's start with the body covering. The fish body is covered with scales while the frog has moist or slimy skin. Where they live, the fish lives in water, while the frog lives in water and on land. How they move, the fish can only swim, while the frog hops. How they breathe, the fish breathes with gills, while the frog breathes with lungs. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to join the Zoom sessions. Stay safe.